And local scientists track the migration patterns of threatened Chinook salmon. Chinook salmon. Or Chinook salmon. This fish is probably one of the biggest and most sought after game fish in the Pacific Northwest. Growing up, I saw a lot of my favorite fishermen chasing after this fish. I grew up around a lot of salmon fishing, but to this day, I am still yet to catch my first Chinook. So join me as I set out to land my first king. Got him. Oh yeah. Oh, that's so sick. Lots of shad fishermen, looks like. Shad everywhere. The first day of fishing, I woke up a few hours before school started and drove to the nearest river, which is actually a really good salmon and steelhead fishery, but this was my first time and I didn't really know what I was doing, so I just decided to swing a spinner through some of the rapids with not much success, at least not the right species. Oh geez, what was that? Oh, it's a smallmouth. <laughs> Big freaking smallmouth right there, what the heck? Little sandbar is a perfect place to land the salmon if I ever hook one down here. And baiting. Fishing somewhere else is wrong. Oh geez, I got something there. Is that a small mouth or what? Well. Yeah. Oh geez, big small mouth. Oh no, it's not a trout. I wonder if that's what ate me earlier. What the heck? That's not what I'm trying to catch. Get this guy out of his way. Well, that guy obviously wasn't the target species, but... Better than nothing, I guess. That guy didn't look like a normal rainbow. It might have been a baby. Oh gosh! I'm getting crushed though every time. Whatever it is, there's a bunch of them out there. Oh, at least this is fun. Did he come off? Nope. He's just really small. Well, there's a bunch of these things out there. A little trout. As long as we might be. Oh, well, there he goes. Still for these. Two casts in the house. Nope. Caught a couple little rainbows. Days two and three were a lot of the same, except for I fished different spots and tried a few different tactics. But still, I hadn't even had one salmon on the line. At this point, I had spent three of my mornings waking up before school and before sunrise to go salmon fishing with absolutely nothing to show for it. And I was also getting pretty busy with graduation coming up, so I ended up putting this mission on hold for a while. And then about a month later, I decided to give it another go. A little piece of egg came off. But... Hmm. Got him. Oh yeah. Oh, 
That's so sick. That was pretty quick. There he goes. He's showing where all the other fish are land. Yep. You already hold them there? Guarantee that's where all the other ones are. Nice throw, my dude. Good work. Give me a fight. Good work. Good job. Nice job, somebody with table. How awesome it is for me. Oh, it's fun. That was a fresh one, dude. You must have just got your last one. Keeper. Perfect. I didn't see a fin, did you? Uh-uh. Oh, it's coming up. Okay, buddy. Take this guy. Come on, man. Yes. There he is. Good work, partner. Thank you, man. Yeah, That's awesome. Ready. Let's go bop over here and get a picture of it. Let's go. Alright. We got him. Beautiful picture. Awesome. Throw him down there. I'll bleed it out for you. Let's Perfect. Get baited and hook another one. <laughs> I finally landed the fish that I'd spent over a month chasing, but I could still tag one more fish before I was limited out on the day. Got a reel in. I want to film this one. Grab it. Slippery. Oh, geez. I got to get the camera out for this thing. Oh, yeah. Sweet. I think he likes you. Shot in the dark, boys. Sometimes it's what it takes. I was hoping for the best there if you didn't notice. Yeah. That is awesome. Alright, I think I'll put the blood out of him, do it a couple more times. Alright, turn off the back camera up there because it's almost dead. And we're only on spot number one, so I want to save a little bit of it. Yeah. Just missed one. Let's see if I can get it again. Dang it, oh, got him. There he is. Right when I turned the camera off too. I turned the back one off because it's almost dead. I wanted to save it, but I got the GoPro rolling, so we're good. Missed him the first time, but he came back for it. Oh yeah. Oh, Want to switch me spots? All right. Oh yeah, I think so. I stuck him pretty good. That's the thing, they're in here. I hate to leave because yeah. there's so many here, but they just get stale after a while. Yeah. You got a good fisherman like you that stays on them, you've got it made. <laughs> oh yeah. Man, these things are so fun. That's a bright one. Yeah, he feels good. Oh, fresh anyway. Sweet. Have you seen a fin or a clipper? I haven't been able to tell yet. Could be a fin Stay away from the rocks. Uh-uh. Alright. Let's 
stand. There. Perfect. Oh, it's not done. Yeah, perfect. Yes, it is. Is there a workout? Oh, there's another one. Right there. All right, come on in. Take one step to the left. I think there's a bag in. Okay. Right there. I'll change the angle on it. Come on. There he is. You're limited out, partner. Sweet. Good work. Count <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Man, those things are addicting. I love it. I really appreciate you guys coming out with me. Yeah. I'm glad to have Thanks you. for taking this. Yeah, I've always been a bass guy and just, I caught my first steelhead in the fall and ever since then I've been trying to catch gotcha. all kinds of different stuff. If I can get a grip on it. There he is. Yeah, oh, that's perfect. Good, good roll right off the bat. Nice and bright. That doesn't feel good, dude. Fish that's number good. two. Oh, yeah. Hold up your other one in front of your camera and get True. your limit. Get... Yeah, it's on baby. So that's a nice picture there. Ooh, cool. Yeah, absolutely. There's my limit right there. Yeah, we can get your other. Your dad's fish here. We don't have to leave. It might perfect. take a little while, but we'll get it. Yeah. Awesome. I had reached my limit for the day, but that doesn't mean we were done fishing. My dad still had one more fish to tag, and it didn't take long before he hooked into something big. I'm limited out, but you just hooked up to a absolute giant. So. That was a nice fish. Oh wow. That thing is a monster. Let's go get some clips of it. And then put one hand under his belly on the back side. Put your hand underneath of him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is a monster. That's a good picture there. That shows how big he really is. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> As you can see, didn't have a ton of room in the freezer for all that fish, and that's not even close to all of it. Some of it's actually sitting in the sink right now, waiting to be cooked because there's nothing better than fresh salmon. But uh, let me sit down and finish this video off. Okay, I am sitting out here at my little bait station. Got some swim baits that I've been working on. Uh, masters for some bait molds actually, but that's probably another video. But this video was probably one of my favorites that I've ever filmed, if not my favorite. Uh, it's more of a short film, and that might be in the title, might be somewhere in the video, probably is. But uh, this is a fish that I've grown up seeing 
my entire life. I live like 15 minutes from the Umpqua River, which is a really good salmon and steelhead river. So heard all about them, but I've always been more of a bass guy. So never really been my cup of tea. But recently I caught my first steelhead this last fall and that thing like I want to say it got me hooked on something other than bass fishing because ever since then I've been trying to cross off bucket list fish. I got that. I caught my first striper and today I caught my first Chinook. I started this journey to catch my first Chinook probably over a month ago at this point. I was waking up at 4.30 in the morning before school. I did it multiple times and I'd drive like an hour out of my way, get there right when the sun was coming up fish for like an hour and a half and then drive home, go to school, and go about my day. And I think I got like one strike and a couple little trout and stuff that whole time. That could have been very discouraging, but honestly, it just made me want to catch one more. So when my dad told me that he had a buddy that was going to take us fishing today, he told me that a few weeks ago, uh, I was very excited and I said, you know what? I'm just going to put this video on hold. I've already filmed for like four days, gotten nothing. I'm going to wait it out and bring my cameras that day and hopefully finish this thing off. So that's what I did. Ended up catching two. My dad caught two. We were there for like not even two and a half hours, I don't think. It didn't feel like it. But uh, yeah, all the mornings I spent searching for this fish were well worth it because now I understand why this fish is so sought after. It was a very fun experience to say the least. And I hope that this video is as high quality as I want it to be. I'm trying to go in depth here in my outro, but it probably just sounds like I'm rambling. I usually just do shorter videos, not little short film type stuff. So hopefully this video is not too over the top is all I'm trying to say. But um, yeah, it was definitely an experience and I'm glad that I got to document it all for you guys. If you want to see more videos in this style, please let me know. There's a couple other fish that I could chase and especially coming up within like a month, there's a trip that I'm going on that I could really make a cool video out of, like another short film style video. So uh, let me know if you want to see that. Um, this one was a lot of fun to make. And yeah, I've been trying to branch out with my content lately. So I hope you guys are enjoying it. This video took a lot of time, like I said, well over a month of filming and a lot of editing and thought put into it. So thank you guys. I really appreciate it. Subscribe if you're new and I will see you guys next time. Thank you.